Oh, hi. I was thinking to myself, what are my two favorite things in this whole world? Swords and pencils. This one's gonna require me wearing my glasses. Okay, we start out by marking the lines which represent the width of the lead. That way I can draw my design and have it be to scale. As you can see, I drew out a tiny little sword shape and am now skinning the fruit of the pins here. Starting to shape the blade, get it down to thickness and Here's the tricky part, you can see Oh, shit! Well, dad gum it! Okay, second try. I have previously prepared this to this point. Using my scalper, starting to cut in the defining edges of where the blade meets the handle. Taking great care this time, <laughs> I assure you. Now I am sharpening the blade. Yes, I sharpened it. Starting to define the finger guard. Yes, yes. Basically, all this took was a steady hand and nothing better to do. Now starting to shape the handle and piercing through so now there's a hole for where the tiny little little baby fingers can go and grasp it. Whoosh, whoosh. More shaping and sanding. This is called a diamond burr. It is usually used with a rotary carver. You can see I'm working from the blade down towards the handle, <laughs> trying not to break it again. This is where I started to sweat very hard. Getting closer. These are tiny little micro carving tools that I have, which are actually meant for wood, but uh, work fine with graphite, as you can see. Oh goodness, that, that is a tiny sword. <laughs> and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure to like that smash button. And if you subscribed to this video, please make sure to like.